Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Back in the year 1999, a 30-year program was approved to build 24 conventional submarines by 2030 in two phases. In phase 1, the plan was to execute two simultaneous programs to build six submarines, each under Project 75 and Project 75I via two separate production lines. These 12 submarines were supposed to be acquired by 2012. However, even after 10 years of delay, only four Calvary class submarines under Project 75 have been inducted into the service and two more are undergoing sea trials and will join the fleet between 2022 to 2023. In phase two, the plan was to build 12 indigenous submarines based on the lessons learned from the phase one. But the plan did not fructify. Even the requirement of 24 conventional submarines were further trimmed down to 18, citing the budget constraint. Now, as per few reports, DRDO has requested for a Kilo class submarine which will be used as test bait for integrating and testing the technologies that will be used in existing and future submarines to be designed and developed indigenously. DRDO will be testing 5 megawatt electric propulsion motor, lithium ion battery and AIP system developed indigenously. India currently has 15 conventional submarines. These are four Sishumar class or HDW class German submarines, eight Sindhu Ghosh or Kilo class submarines, four Scorpion or Calvary class submarines, two more to be inducted between 2022 to 2023. Shishumar and Sindhu Ghosh are near the end of the service life. Major refit and life certification of two Sishumar and four Sindhu Ghosh class submarines will extend their service life by a decade, but this still leaves the Indian Navy with half the submarine it needs. It's highly likely that one of the Kilo class submarine, which is nearing its retirement, will be handed over to DRDO for its development, integration and testing activities. Now, talking about lithium ion battery, it is going to be a game changer for submarine. At present, Japan is the only country to have an operational submarine powered by lithium ion and South Korea has also developed this technology and working on operationalizing them. Back in 2020, Navy has released an RFI for indigenous development of 500 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery for submarines which can also be scaled up to 5 megawatt hour. Navy is planning to replace the traditional lead acid batteries with lithium ion batteries. Now, as for the latest update, Indian Navy has selected the vendor for development of lithium ion battery and it might take 20 more months as per RFI to get working lithium ion in place. This is definitely a good news as it will be fitted in Kilo class submarine and later can be retrofitted with Calvary class submarines. Next, we will talk about the AIP system, which is going to have a force multiplier effect on the lethality of a diesel electric submarine as it enhances the submerged endurance of submarines by several times. The fuel cell based AIP has merits in performance compared to other AIP technologies. While there are different types of AIP systems being pursued internationally, fuel cell based AIC of NMRL is unique as hydrogen is generated on board. It uses phosphoric acid as an electrolyte that reacts with hydrogen generated from sodium borohydride and liquid oxygen to generate the electricity. DRDO's fuel cell aims to give endurance of up to 14 days to a conventional submarine. India has also been able to indigenously build conventional and nuclear propelled submarines. However, the submarine designing is the area where India needs assistance from foreign OEMs. A multidisciplinary design team was trained almost for two years in Germany to acquire the knowledge of HDW class submarine design with access to relevant software, design data, empirical formula 
and were considered capable of designing a conventional submarine. This team forms the backbone of Submarine Design Group, a premier organization of Indian Navy. Considering the issues with Project 25I where three foreign OEMs including Germany, Russia and France has pulled out of the competition, India must make conventional submarines by collaborating between Directorate of Naval Design of Indian Navy, MDL, LND, TIDO and other major public and private companies and MSMEs that are working on Indian submarine programs. India should take consultancy from friendly countries like France as and when needed. In interim, the follow-on order of three additional Scorpion class submarines with DRDO's EIP system must be placed by Indian Navy. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.